Hello, welcome again. In this video, I'm going to show you the new mega scan integration comes with OpenLand. So now it's pretty easy to use. Right now, uh, we have a simple sand area painted over here. And let me show you how to change this texture via mega scan. Here, I can select my material layer, it's sand. And the mega scan texture, I might, I'll choose the pebble ground like this. Okay, now I can see a preview over here. Okay, cool. Then I can hit the select button. Now you can clearly see now it's appeared on my project. I can play my game. Right, uh, scale wise, I think I, I like it. Right now, if you see here, you can see some uh, texture repetitions over here. And we can easily fix that using the texture variation support. Uh, for example, over here, I can increase the rotation influence a little bit like this. All right, I, I, if I need, I can increase the uh, like scale as well like this. And now I can play my game. Right, I don't see any texture repetition and it looks pretty nice. And likewise, there are so many features out there and you can change your complete landscape within a few minutes. All right, uh, let's get started uh, on how to use this feature. First of all, this feature comes with a part of the open land landscape material. So you need to get open land into your project and check the description below on how to do that. And then create a landscape using an open land. So then only you can use this feature. And then uh, you had to uh, do one uh, important change and select your landscape. And in the details panel, search for use dynamic. And make sure to enable this uh, checkbox, use the dynamic material instance. By default, this is not checked. So make sure to check that. And that's a critical requirement you had to do. And then uh, go to content, open land, widgets. And here we have a widget called open land texture selector widget right click on that and simply hit run editor utility widget i already uh, run that and that's why we have a widget looks like this and then you need to bring some textures into your ue5 project and also i want to mention this works with ue4 as well so in ue5 uh, getting textures from mega scan is quite easy i can select this plus icon over here and quicksell bridge and then you can browse any texture you like and simply drag that uh, texture into your scene like this and it will download the texture for you all right now we are ready to go i have downloaded a couple of textures over here and let's try to use those textures inside this demo i don't have a specific idea in mind uh, let's give it a try uh, first let's try to change our ground material and here we have a couple of textures let me find something all right i have something like this and you can see uh, these two roughness and uh, displacement textures are black by default and uh, sometimes this happens in that case simply hit this reload textures button and then it will reload these textures for you and then simply hit this select button now you can see now we apply this canyon rocky ground texture into my ground here i, I can see the tiling options i can increase the tiling over here is near tiling is 4, 10 if you like like this and uh, let me play my game I think that's too much. I think four is just fine. Yeah, maybe it's too much as well. And I'll go two and far tiling. I'll go with 10 for now. Right. Now you can see if I go a little bit farther away and you can see there are some texture repetition. I can easily fix that with texture variation support. Here I have a variation offset. So basically it will move the, uh, some textures here and there uh, with the noise. I can put somewhere value like 10 over here and you can see it, it breaks the uh, variation a little bit so this is zero like if you put some value over here it will uh, change the texture position uh, yeah that's sometimes okay but sometimes you can do you can rotate, rotate your texture as well a little bit like this and then if you need you can scale the texture different way in different places and this is the height map influence so here we try to blend these uh, texture variation using the height map and try to change these and try to find the sweet spots for your texture right now you can see i have some uh, ground texture over here i just download from mega scans and we don't have texture repetition and it looks pretty nice here we have another way to get rid of texture variation and that's using the uh, tint variation so i can uh, increase this tint variation intensity slider you can see there are some dark patches on my ground like this and uh, here this is too much i'll go with something subtle uh yeah like something like this it will add some uh, nice looking noise uh, base uh, tint variation and as yeah it looks pretty nice right now i'm gonna create a simple pathway over here and i'm gonna put some pebble texture onto that 
so i can go to my landscape paint mode now we have some uh, texture layers in open land uh, here we need to select here i'm going to select custom one so i can scroll a little bit down i can see custom one i'm going to select the custom one layer info now i have a brush over here i think it's a little bit uh big i'm gonna reduce the brush size to something like this all right all right now i can simply paint that in my landscape like this and sometimes you will see uh yeah weird texture like this that's totally fine in that case simply go to a sculpt section get a smooth brush or any other brush you like simply touch that place like this then it will start compiling those places uh, like this and after that you can simply paint and uh, yeah they're ready to go all right in this case just you don't need to worry about this uh, green color and simply paint like this all right uh, this is not the best looking part that i created but anyway you get the idea now i can play my game all right if, if you need uh, i can uh, double click and open my map as well all right now we have a simple path view here now let's try to change these textures so here i use the custom one material layer and the texture I'll, i'm gonna use something like paper ground something like this i'm gonna hit select I can play my game to see the uh, size uh, yeah I think I like this and then I can put my sun a little bit away I can see normals like this uh, likewise early, earlier we can increase the uh, texture variation a little bit All right and then I can play with the tiling I think I can reduce the part tighten a little bit and if I need I can do some color, color correction as well for example I can reduce the red a little bit mm, maybe not maybe green yeah i'll add more red by removing green yeah you can, you can play with these color correction sliders and try to match the colors that you really need and then if you have virtual height field mesh support and then you can simply increase the displacement uh, multiplier over here as well and you, sometimes you have a question like what is this material layer means so it's not a paint layer so inside the landscape material we use set of textures and uh, using with different ways for example here in the uh, auto material we use three materials now for example we have a one for the ground auto material and there's a one for the uh, slope area and there's another one in between the slope and the middle and we call it mid area so so we have defined some textures for that one and that's why we call a slope uh, mid and ground and likewise you can even paint these uh, textures separately as well uh, using the uh, paint layer section and we have an alpha uh, layer as well uh, so it's, it's a different purpose i have a document explaining all these things you can uh, check the uh, description of this video and try to understand this further likewise we have some uh, more uh, texture materials as well like puddle layer custom one custom two you can change all these things uh, using this tool and if you uh, check the open lens modular development guide you can actually create your own material layers and use them with paint layers or you can integrate that into a different uh, auto bio auto material and, and after you have done that you, those material layers will be available over here automatically and then you can uh, texture them using this tool and after that you will never need to touch the material instance and this is a much cleaner way to work with textures right and that's it for today um, see you soon with something interesting bye